So today is the last day of our trip. We arrived yesterday to Rome. We flew overnight from Abu Dhabi to Rome with Etihad, which I never traveled before and it was quite bougie. <laughs> this costed us 80 pounds, which was really cheap. That's why we decided to go with Etihad as it was like a night flight and everything. So yeah, we arrived yesterday to Rome. We just left our baggages um, in the station. We went to walk a bit around the city center of Rome. Then we had just some food and we ended up today watching a sunset in like a garden, which was really beautiful. Today is the last day. We are checking out of our um, hostel, which is more like an Airbnb. We actually had like a whole house for us. There's three rooms, but nobody was staying on them. And for this Airbnb we paid, it was actually quite expensive. We paid around 30 pounds each for one night, uh, but it's quite central and okay, it's not that expensive, but you know, <laughs> if you're traveling in a budget, it is expensive for a hostel, but it had quite good conditions. So we're okay with that and very good location. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave you some images from yesterday and see you in a bit for the rest of our day today. Point of the situation, we can't find our hostel, so we think it doesn't exist. We'll keep you updated. We think we found it, but it looks very dodgy. And we are in Rome. This is my second time in Rome and I love this city. It's just so beautiful. Everything looks like a museum outside. Also, I'm going up this hill right now and it's so hard because we're gonna go to watch the sunset at the top of the hill. We bought a sandwich and some salad. We're gonna just be there vibing, chilling. This 
is how I will be using my microphone from now on because I broke the um, stunt. So, we checked out of our hostel. We came to the main train station and we are now waiting for our bus. We had some lunch in the train station. I'm a bit disappointed to be honest because I had three different things from three different like shops because they have like a food market there. Uh, I had sushi, I had a um, kind of a croquette and something else and none of it was very good and it was quite expensive so a bit disappointing but it's okay and then we went to a coffee shop we had a croissant and a drink we were chilling a bit uh, saying goodbye to Ilya because he's gonna stay now in Rome and we're gonna go back to the UK sadly so how was our trip it was exclusive experience and I wish everyone to travel with uh, good friends and like it was it was money it was the time it was energy because of course you remember it for the rest of your life and also me as a person who usually travels by himself alone I also really appreciate that experience what I got now that's really cool to share it with someone and especially when you like people who are close to you so yeah big recommendation to do that and yeah thank you Miguel thank you Lucas hopefully it's not our last trip <laughs> We are already at the airport and our flight is already delayed. We have not been very lucky lately with the flights. We're gonna fly to Manchester. It's still gonna be quite a long day. The flight is quite fast, it's like two hours, but still. 50 minutes. Two hours and 50 minutes? Is it actually? I think so. It's like from Portugal. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's the end of another trip, unfortunately. I had actually the best time, it was really cool. I'm really surprised with Dubai. I didn't expect Dubai to be the way it was actually. It's just like I felt very safe there. It's a very safe country. People are very nice. Everyone is do there just for the money because you see like most of people are like Pakistan, India and they mostly are just like leaving their families. They're coming to work, mostly men coming to work in Dubai, getting some money, sending back to the families. It's a city which it's mostly to go and work. It's not like a very family kind of city, you know. And now I'm inspired, now I want to go to live in Dubai. Another thing which I realized, it's how not expensive Dubai can be actually. If you go like to the surrounding areas, uh, the hotels in the surrounding areas, the restaurants in the, in the surrounding areas, it's extremely cheap because yesterday in Rome we had like two dishes, one tiramisu uh, and one drink and we paid 50 euros in Dubai for 50 euros in these restaurants which we were going we could have like three meals, like generally three meals I really like the safari as well. I was a bit disappointed with the um, quad bikes. I thought we were gonna go like away in the desert, but now it was just like a small area. In Rome, well, it's my second time in Rome and I genuinely love this city. It's just what I usually say to everyone is you feel like you are in a museum everywhere you go. It's a museum outside, everything is so pretty. Yeah, but it's becoming really expensive. It's also summer now, so everything is really expensive. Europe is not cheap anymore. I don't know if you ever was, but I always used to hear that the cheapest places to go is in Europe, but not anymore. Now I have the rest of the day ahead of me. I want to do some maths on my phone. I want to check how much I spent and how much I spent in each city and I will probably come back to you and let you know as well so you guys have more or less an idea because mostly I want to show that you can travel for not that expensive to really cool places and here we are now to find out how much I spent I already know but let's go first of all I just want to say that this was a nine day trip but we tried the most to spend the least money as possible and there was nights we slept in couch surfing most times we slept in hostels the only time where we stayed in a hotel was in Dubai and it was for two nights only and it was a really cheap hotel and also food most times we went to supermarkets uh, small coffee shops and didn't go like a lot to restaurants or anything so I have this whole list of everything 
I didn't split this by day, I split it by categories, as in like transportation, accommodation, food and activities, this kind of stuff. So let's start. So let's start with transportation. In here I include the flights and buses from each country and cities. All the flights apart from the one where we left Dubai, Abu Dhabi, to um, back to Rome. Uh, this was the most expensive one and we went with Etihad. Every other flight it was with Ryanair and Wizz Air. Uh, and then the buses which was from Vienna to Bratislava and then Bratislava to Budapest. These buses was Flixbus. I spent 266 pounds. It was quite a lot of flights and buses so 266 pounds, not that bad. Next on we have the accommodation uh, which again in some nights I stayed using couch surfing, which you basically sleep for free. Other nights, hostels and then one hotel. <laughs> for eight nights in total, I spent 118 pounds, which is really cheap. And then back to transportation, but this I only include like the taxis in Dubai, the metro, the metro in the other cities, underground, whatever. Trains from city centers to airports. I'm including only this and this was 69 pounds in total which I spent and then next on I have activities and this includes the safari in Dubai we went to aquatic park in Denmark and in activities in total I spent 128 pounds this was the only one which I wouldn't mind to spend more because it's activities you don't know when you're gonna go again to these kind of places so you just need to do it I don't care like the money I would spend but I didn't really spend much only 128 pounds and then we have food and everything else. For so food we have restaurants, which I really didn't go many, like one or two. Coffee shops, grocery shops, and then on everything else I include the souvenirs, uh, just random things which I bought, I don't know, just money. On these we spent 315 pounds, which is also a thing which I don't mind spending money because it's food. I need to eat. So I would rather just save on the flights, buses and accommodation and just have food. Yeah, 315 pounds, which makes a total of 896 pounds. So basically 900 pounds, which I spent in this whole trip. If we think like this, it's quite a lot of money, 900 pounds. But then if we think properly and it was nine days, which I was traveling, Denmark, Slovakia, Austria, Hungary, UAE, and Italy and I visited six countries it was not really that expensive if you think yeah guys I hope you enjoyed these four videos of my trip and hopefully soon I will come back with more content in other trips thank you so much for watching and if you like please subscribe to my channel it's free you know and it helps me a lot also comment down what you thought about this trip and if you think I spent a lot of money which I don't think so but you can have another opinion thank you so much Bye!